gonna I'm gonna get into my theory, my theory on Crownless. Okay, so the thing is, is I feel like what could have potentially happened was the version of Crownless that they had us fight in CBT two. They dumbed them down because that Crownless probably didn't hit like full peak. Okay, didn't hit full peak. So they were like, okay. If we're going to be introducing, see, this is what I mean by like, like the backlogging, like they were cooking and we didn't know it. Okay. Right. They couldn't have him be just as strong as I'm going to say queen crownless. Okay. Cause first off, if you look right here, her crown looks way bigger. It looks way bigger. Right. But then when you even look at the mask definition, it's like the mask almost looks bigger as well. And it also also has like a much like it has a much like darker like color palette. Like it's it looks a lot darker than like the regular crownless that we see. And I think that that was just kind of an introduction to what happens to a person that goes into that form. And this might be an individual that might actually have full control over the form. Like, because, because I was kind of thinking about, uh, Calchero and how like, he like kind of almost gets taken over. And I know like there's something that happens when like a resonator, like completely goes like berserk basically. So I'm almost going to speculate that this isn't just like some random ass, like queen crownless. This is actually a person that can control the power fully. And I think that that's also why the visual also looks the way it does. And so, like, even when they rotate around, right? Like, look at the wingspan. Like, all of that. Like, okay, this is another thing I want to point out, right? Okay, so look at the chest. Look at the chest area. You, God, that's... Don't don't cancel me. Not for that reason. But the, the, the symbol... <laughs> the symbol in the chest... It's 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 showing kind of like the tacit the tacit mark right the tacit field mark right, and the thing is is that when you're looking at that it's like a void a void in the middle of the chest, but I'm assuming that symbol is filling that void right, or it's like supposed to represent the heart or something like that. So that I think like with the with the crown that symbol on the chest. That might be what a fully like like a crown a crowned crownless. Yeah, I actually and actually we might be calling this the wrong name. This isn't a crownless anymore. This is a this is a crowned echo. Like so I think that this is what they look like when they're when they get when they actually get their crown. Because remember that crownless looks the way he does or is the way he is because he hasn't gotten his crown he hasn't found his crown so we're going with the crown one i agree with y'all chat i think <laughs> i think we cooked on this one okay so that's that right there is off rip already a clear indication right so i'm like okay the question is though and what they hinted at is that this is going to be a character that we're going to see or is going to introduce themselves before we actually, I think, can encounter or fight them. So I'm just like, OK, cool. That's dope. Now, the thing is, though, and, and guys, hear me out. I'm going to say something and people are going to be like, oh, damn. You remember the legendary hero that you apparently have the exact same powers as that lived like a hundred or something plus years before you? I feel like this character is actually going to be that legendary hero. And I'm almost betting, I'm almost going to bet you that this character is going to have a, uh, a tacit mark on the opposite hand. Like, so I'm just saying I'm putting it out there. It's either it's either that, right? And, and this might be a little bit outlandish, but I also feel like it could either be that or another deity. I feel like it could be one of the two. <laughs> so you remember, look, 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 hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, chat. So you remember the chick, the deity chick that dropped your ass in the beginning of the game? Remember her, right? I almost feel like she's not the only deity, I feel like there's actually a she has a counterpart and that's the reason why she sends you because like, bro, listen, don't get me started, bro. I'll cook. I'll cook. L listen, 
<laughs> Listen, so she sends you because she's trying to counteract what the other person is doing. Bro, listen, let me stop. <laughs> Let me stop, bro. Listen, <laughs> this is like, like, no, but honestly, though, I, I'm still going to go with the fact I think that this is the legendary hero. I, I definitely I definitely think this is this is the the legendary whoever it was that has the same abilities as you. So I think I think they are going to have voice lines. And then also, that's a very important context clue too. the uh, the gourd in the back is also red. Right. So the thing in the back is red, I think, because of the fact that maybe this isn't going to be an echo we can capture. It might that might also be the case. This might not be an echo that's capturable Um, because remember, the gourd can only capture up to like what you can like what you can realistically handle. The MC has a special ability to absorb. So remember, one of the first echoes you absorb is crownless. You don't actually absorb Echo into, uh, or you don't absorb Crownless into the Gourd. You actually absorb Crownless into your hand. So that's that's one thing that I think that that's indicating is that this this character is is too powerful to be absorbed by the Gourd. So you probably have to absorb her via the special ability or whatever it is that you have um, as the MC. So I think I think that that's probably how they're going to do that lore wise at least. Because, yeah, yeah, I, I don't see like this this character. If this is what I think is going to be, is going to be way stronger than Crownless for sure. So we're going with we we came to the general consensus chat. We're calling this character the Crown One. Oh my God, that's a good name, the Crown One. Okay, you said I think this is a higher uh, higher slash evolved boss like Crownless. Uh, that's why they look more human. Like, yeah. And I think that that's, that's also another reason why I said, I feel like they actually, this person also might have more control over the form versus, um, like versus like crownless, for example. So like one thing they showed, right. So let's actually go back. They actually showed when they were talking about the story component, they were talking about how you're going to encounter, enemies so let's see i think it was right in here somewhere um right here right so i think she was talking so let's actually see right so it says being visited by enemies you've never met even before you're supposed to confront them so when we go and we listen to this hold on let me see if we can play this that's her voice so she's definitely talking. And then I think when you walk up, that's when you actually see her. And that's where she appears. So see, like, I, I'm almost certain that's her talking. And then you can, I don't know. Is that, I don't think female rover, I don't think female rover's talking here. I don't think that's female rover. I think that that's, could it be? Or could it be the crownless talking to itself? I don't know. Is it? Is she talking here? Wait, hold on. Let me see. Let me make sure I'm not bugging, bro. Because hold on. Oh, wait. They have translations on top. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They have translations on top. I didn't see that. Oh, why'd it go from... Go back. Okay, hold on. Oh, it says I'm back in the same spot again. Okay, no, never mind. That's female rover. Oh, so they did it. They did a teaser voice. And this moon, what is uh what is happening? Oh, okay, so no, it's it's Rover having a realization she's somewhere she doesn't belong. Okay. Cause I was about to say, I was like, yo, if they played her voice right here, that actually would be kind of crazy. This is, as that tacit discord. See, yeah, so that's like, I don't know, dude. Like, there's so much, there's so much that we don't know, but we know, <laughs> but we don't know. So I don't know, dude. Like, that's kind of, oh man. This, this is uh this is gonna be very interesting to see. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna be very interesting to see. I think that honestly, this is kind of opening the door for. I honestly feel like this is kind of opening the door for other variants for um for characters 
because if there's this other version of Crownless or a crowned like version of Crownless, that means that there could be another version of Inferno Rider. There could be another version of um, like uh, what's his name, Tempest Memphis, uh, Thundering Memphis. There, there, there could definitely be more forms of them or more enhanced or like forms that actually have more control over the power. So I don't know, dude, like they're, uh, they're, 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 they're honestly easily going to have some top tier, like enemies, like their, their enemy design is just so insane. Um, it said, uh, Gavin Molina vibes, Elden Ring. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's what it looks like. They tried to kind of do, right. It, it does feel a little Elden Ring esque. And I think that that's kind of the big thing. Uh, you said and that's good for World War Story theories. It gives engagement in social media. Yeah, dude, I'm like that's actually going to be one of my next posts. What is your what is the theory you guys have behind this character? Like, what do you, who and what do you think this character is? Because it's it's not really clear, and I almost wonder if like again they're going to revamp or change some of the story because people did make complaints about Crownless, but I almost wonder if some people are going to retract those because now we see this other version of Crownless uh, basically. So that's going to be really interesting to see, dude. I have no idea, but I think, I think the theories are going to absolutely cook, to be honest. Like, seriously.